welcome fish enthusiasts and fish breeders as well. Thank you for watching this video. So, if you haven't been on my channel, if you look at my other videos, I used to have a bunch of fish, different fish, um, in my tank. And they all coexisted with each other. And bottom line, what happened was they just got one got sick and then just got everybody sick. And that just would happen frequently. And I would go to Pet Smart, you know, Petco, and grab fish. And sometimes they were hit and misses, man. They would get they would get big to a certain point and they wouldn't last. They just go downhill. I actually currently still have my fire mouth from, I don't know if you've seen my past videos, but I have a fire mouth I got from Petco and he was beat up. He uh, he was the smallest of all the groups of fire mouths they had for selling Petco and I picked him. And currently he's suffering from wasting disease. I mean, he's alive, he's eating, but his body's just very curved. Um, he's in here. You can see his, his head right there. Look, there he is, look. He just sits on the bottom all day, does nothing except eat. He'll swim every so often, but his body's curvature now. Before it was straight, and he was swimming perfectly fine up and down, and now he's uh, he breathes fast through stress. Um, he stresses very fast. He has like a degrading like scaling on his forehead, which is kind of weird. I looked it up. It doesn't look like a hole in the head, cause look there he is. But if you look at the top right there, you can see like a gray part. That's actually sunken in. It's not rounded. If, if you were to look like a side of you, which is pretty hard to get from him, you would see the, the dent that's on his forehead. And I think that is wasting disease, but he keeps going. I've had him for about four or five months already like this. And, he, and I don't want to let him go because I, I feel like maybe he's living okay, but with just some abnormalities <laughs> but I do have some uh, tetras that everybody's eating right now um, they don't bother him he just stays in this cave comes out to eat but he is the dominant one in this tank of course they get scared look there he is look he peeked his head out anyways but back to what I was saying so my tank now sorry for that algae back there um, I just got a pair and I just stuck with them this is my male that I've had for a, a while grew him out in that 10 gallon I was just showing you. This is him now. Nice color. Uh, depending on where you look, if you look from the top, his top fin is yellow. From the side, it's blue. It's pretty interesting. And then her right here, got some orange and a little bit of blue, depending on the side, the way you view her. It's pretty interesting. And these other babies, uh, they're about maybe, a, or should I say fry? They're, they are about maybe a month and a half right now it's crazy because you'll see some that are very very tiny like they've just been born look there's actually some right there look like a little guy right there now you can see they're starting to get their stripes um they look great the parents are great look that's the dad right there i've had him since the beginning since he was a baby and that's the mom very healthy i haven't ever since i removed having different types of fish in my tank i haven't had any issue with ick haven't had any issue with any type of uh sickness fin rot you know hole in the head wasting disease and it has i think it has a lot to do with trying to create a community tank it's very risk risky in my opinion but it just depends on where you purchase your fish at the end of the day, I feel like. But this is where I'm at now. I do have some small fish that I'm going to be getting rid of soon. I have a uh, local pet store that's willing to pick them up. So if anybody, too, if they are in the Mojave area, Mojave High Desert, um, feel free to contact me and maybe uh, pick up some fish. They're still very small, so definitely not going to be suitable for any current cichlid tanks you do have. You might want to still have a grow out tank for these guys. But, I mean, they're all healthy. I haven't had one die. They're all pretty great. I mean, I haven't seen any, but I do have a, gri I do have a grip of them. And they all do their own thing in here now. 
Sorry for that. I'm trying to get a better focus. There we go. But thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate it. This is my tank here, Convict Cichlids. And if anybody knows where I can find any Honduran red points, I need a pair. Huh. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching.